Next, let's learn about how our language centers work. That means, let us say me and you are communicating. That's because I have an idea which I can express to you using language and you are able to comprehend what I am speaking, right? So, this is what language allows. It allows for transfer of ideas. But if there is a dysfunction of these language centers, then certain individuals will end up developing aphasias. Let us learn about motor aphasias now. Now, in terms of ideas getting generated, it is a complex network of neuronal tissues which generate these ideas within the cortex, okay? There are these higher centers which are able to develop these ideas. Once the ideas are developed, they need to be conveyed to the Broca's area for formation of sentences. Because now if I want to speak, if as I'm getting ideas, I'm speaking, right? So this is possible because as soon as I get the idea, my cortex transmits it to the Broca's area. The Broca's area forms this sentence out of this entire large database of English words, right? So I'm using English to communicate. My Broca's area chooses the right words in the right order with the right grammar and conveys that sentence. Once it's formed that sentence, it will convey it to the upper motor neurons, which innervate the muscles of articulation, followed by the transmission of impulses to the lower motor neurons. The muscles of articulations will then speak out. My larynx will produce the voice with the help of the diaphragm contraction. The air which is being expired will be modulated and articulation, muscles of articulation will help me to speak the way I am. Correct? This is what's happening. If supposing the mind, my mind wants to say, I have a great idea. This is the sentence that the mind wants to express. So it will convey it, this to the Broca's area. Now the Broca's area knows what needs to be expressed. It just needs to select the right words in the right order with the right grammar. So if I have to say, I have a great idea, the Broca's area will now start selecting, right? So needs to select the right words, the right order. It cannot be that I can end up saying great idea I have. Of course, sometimes colloquially we say that, but then it wouldn't be the right grammar, right? I can't say great I have idea. That also is not correct. So the order of the words also matters. That is known as syntax. The right order of the right words. This is required for expressing the language. I have a great idea. Now this sounds the most appropriate grammatically and in terms of syntax, right? So I have not said I had an great idea that would have been grammatically incorrect, right? So grammar is also correct. The order that means syntax is also correct. So this is how a normal Broca's area would function. And once this sentence has been formed at the level of the Broca's area, it will convey this to the UMN, the LMN, muscles of articulation, it will come out and you will be able to hear this, right? So this is how Broca's area functions. Basically, what we have in terms of motor speech is the cortex, which is the music composer or music director who gives certain ideas for the lyricist to actually end up writing a song. So lyricist is the Broca's area. Okay, and finally, the lyrics need to be sung by the singer, right? And the singer is the, all the entire UMN element group. It is the muscles of articulation along with the coordination that is required from the cerebell, cerebellum. So inputs from the cerebellum, from the upper motor neurons into the muscles of articulation for modulation of voice and bringing out whatever needs to be said, right? The idea needs to be expressed. So this is the usual functioning of the Broca's area. Instead, let us imagine that a patient has Broca's aphasia. So, what would happen to this same idea? Now, the cortex, the higher center wants to say the same thing and it has conveyed this to the Broca's area. But there is a defect in the Broca's area. Broca's area is not working. So, even though the Broca's has gotten the inputs, it's not able to form the sentence. It's struggling. Where are the words? Which are the words I need to select? What is the right grammar I need to use? Is the syntax going to be correct? And there'll be pauses in between. It's taking too long to be able to decide and judge. Okay, so instead of saying, I have a great idea in one fluent go, the 
person would end up with a broker's area deficit would end up struggling. There's a gap. Okay, to begin with, there's a gap. Right? So, not able to express, not able, it's, it's taking its time to try and find the words. Where have all the words gone? It's looking at the entire database, screening for the right words. And finally, it comes out with some words. So, it may end up saying idea first. Okay, I have a great idea. The, I, the word idea was the last word. Here, finally, it's ended up saying the first word is idea. Again, followed by a gap. So, it's non fluent speech, it's struggling. Taking time, not finding the correct grammar, the correct entire sentence is not able to. It's found the right word, but in the wrong order, right? Syntax has gone wrong. And instead of great, chooses good. Okay, not able to find great. Something close to that meaning finds good. Okay, and after that, instead of saying I, might end up saying me. Okay, again, in between, there will be some gap. So that's how it's coming out. Broca's area not able to bring out fluent continuous sentences. Instead of saying I have a great idea in one go, the person with Broca's aphasia may end up taking time saying idea, good me. Okay. If a person who listens to this, may, he may still get the idea, get the what the person wants to say, meaning of what the person wants to say, right. So good idea is still getting conveyed, right. And me. So therefore, I have a great idea. Coming quite close, so it's it's seemingly meaningful, but yet the sentence is gone totally wrong. So this kind of a non-fluent speech with grammatical mistakes and syntax errors, this is what is constituent of Broca's aphasia. Because the Broca's area has gone missing, the lyrics of the song have gone wrong. Okay, and therefore the song coming out will also be like selfie leli mene. Okay, selfie leli mene aj, something like that. Okay, so basically this is what happens in Broca's aphasia. I hope you've got the gist of what Broca's aphasia is. The speech, speech is going to be non-fluent and it's going to come out in, it's going to take a long time. There are going to be gaps. He's not stuttering. He's not as if he is struggling to articulate. He's just not finding the right words in the right order. And there'll be grammatic mistakes. And yet the meaning may eventually be conveyed, no doubt. Okay. But the person's insights are preserved. In patients of Broca's aphasia, they know what's happening. They have the idea, but they know they're struggling to express it. So such individuals, Broca's FSA individuals would be very frustrated. Okay, frustration is, they'll be very frustrated. Okay, because they know they have the deficit, they're aware of it. Unlike in patients of Wernicke's aphasia, Wernicke's aphasia patients, they won't even know that they have the deficit. They're not realizing what they're saying. 